the thing about whistling is, is that you're not necessarily a trained musician in order to be a really fantastic whistler. And so whistlers are whistlers because they like whistling. The Whistling Orchestra of Philadelphia is an opportunity to bring individuals from all across the city together who all love to whistle. Temple Contemporary has been interested in this program for a long time because we're interested in what the city is good at and whistling is one of them and I think one of the reasons for that is because Philadelphia comes from a strong tradition of labor and workers and traditionally it was workers who were the best at whistling. So the Whistling Orchestra started in 2014 developing a work for Primary which is a space in Nottingham in the UK so it's been really exciting to come to this city and to think about this project completely afresh to think what's the history of music at work here, what's the history of whistling and to then compose a completely new score specifically for Philly and based on the history of music at work in Philadelphia. Actually everybody in the room is doing the same, okay. exactly the same and then on the second time one, two, three. <laughs> Once I started researching whistling and thinking about it though, I suddenly realized that actually lots of people are whistling, we're just not necessarily thinking about it. When I was younger, my mom used to whistle for us like in, on the blocks or in the supermarket instead of calling our name. I didn't think like knowing how to whistle from like first grade would be so beneficial. Sometimes I do it mindlessly, it's not even whistling a tune. I whistle all the time and uh, my father used to whistle. I've been in choirs from early age to, to now. And I kind of tend to, when I rehearse my choir pieces, I tend to whistle them. I whistled at a very young age because my pop pop whistled. Yes, I love whistling. Uh, I, I come from family that everybody whistles. My dad taught me how to whistle when I was really little. I whistle exactly like he does. I do constant bird noises and loud whistles. Most typically, if you're thinking about putting together an orchestra, you're looking for musicians and you're looking for people who read music. Whereas when you want whistlers, you're looking for people who maybe whistle really well in the shower or whistle really well in the bus or in their office or in the factory where they work or wherever it is. And so we really wanted to think about alternative ways of doing a call out, which wasn't your kind of typical art crowd, wasn't your typical music crowd, but it was just a kind of general, let's just try and get the word out in Philly and find these whistlers wherever they might be. My name is Michael Gorell. I'm from West Philadelphia. And right now, well, I was an engineer for about 30 years but I'm a caseworker at the welfare office now. My name is Jim Hubble. I am from Jenkintown, PA. I'm a florist. John F. Baynard, Jr. I'm from a little place called Ackland, Zion Hill in Ackland. Uh, that's in Southern Chester County. I'm a retired school teacher. Okay, my name is Elario Olivo. I'm originally from Dominican Republic, and here I live in Northeast Philadelphia. Uh, my name's Alana Butler. I'm originally from Vermont, and I live in Philadelphia, and I work at Temple University uh, in public health. I'm Mike Wells, and I'm from Delaware County, and I was the business rep for the Carpenters Union. And my name's Celia Smith-Israel, and I'm from Philadelphia, PA, and currently I'm a behavioral therapist. My name is Renessa Edwards. I'm from Philadelphia, PA, and I'm an investigator for Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission. I don't know quite how to put my finger on it, but there's, um, there's something much more upbeat, I would say, about the score that we've ended up with here. 